Thai treasures. Auspicious wealth of the land. Earth, the third planet from the sun in the solar system, is rich in natural resources, ideal for humans' livelihood since ancient times. How much and how varied these natural resources are put to use depend on the knowledge and ability of each individual. For example, more than two million years ago, man learned about the types of rocks to be made into tools for various functions. Until the past 7,000 years, man discovered the method of using fire to extract copper embedded in ores and rocks. It was then used in making tools, utensils, weapons, and ornaments according to the demands in society. Thereafter, man employed this knowledge in smelting ores for more lead and silver, which were then alloyed with copper, resulting in a new and special metal called bronzes or copper bronze. Later, the technology of iron smelting for industrial use became known. Consequently, tin was added to the bronze formula discovered about 2,000 years ago, resulting in bronze of better quality which remains in use up to the present. Bronze therefore became a precious metal utilized by various groups of people. Some made it into weapons, tools and utensils in their livelihood, or ornaments indicating social statuses. It was also used in the casting of objects related to rituals and faiths, for example, Mahora took drum used for signaling. When Buddhism flourished, bronze was cast as sublime Buddha images with fine craftsmanship. Auspicious wealth of the land sought after by people around the world are precious stones and gold. These two natural ores are highly valued because of their beauty and rarity. Old civilizations of the world all maintain a body of knowledge in the search for these precious ores for uses according to popular values and personal beliefs. It is gratifying to know that the area where Thailand is situated today was in the past known as Suwanapum, which literally means the land rich with precious wealth of the land such as gold known among traders of different nationalities for around a thousand years. Figuratively, it means the land of opportunities where people could settle and earn their livelihood at liberty. Nowadays, the study of archaeological and geological evidences, as well as various disciplines of art and science, has progressed a great deal. Thus, it has become evident that the name Suwanapum refers to the auspicious wealth of the land that truly exists in Thailand. <laughs>